Hi Brad from WPSites.net. Let's take a look at how to add custom image sizes in WordPress. And I think the reason this is really important is because poor quality images really um, don't make your site look very good. Um, they look unprofessional and uh, and they can turn people off and people will surf away and find another website so I think it's very important to have high quality images and the best way to have high quality images is to keep the 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 correct aspect ratio so they're not all fuzzy and they look good now this is very theme specific and we'll take a look at an example now um, let's just have a look at our demo site. This is actually using the free uh, 2012 default theme for WordPress. But if you're using something like uh, the Genesis framework with the StudioPress theme, you'll find that there's lots of different image sizes that are available. And uh, let's just let's just install one of them now. We'll take the magazine theme because we've been using that a lot in the past. Uh, let's just activate that theme. This is installed on the Genesis theme framework. Now if we go into the widget area, you'll see the 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 uh, the, the the home page of this site has a lot of different widget areas. Um, so let's just have a look. It's the same, this is the same theme I'm using on my site. And you can see the, the different widget areas on the home page. All these different widget areas enable you to uh, to add images to different different size images on your site so you want to make sure that when you upload the image that uh, images are created which are exactly the same as these widget areas and that way you, your images will look really good <coughs> so we've activated the uh, the magazine uh, child theme on the Genesis theme framework let's just go into the widget area and have a look at the different different size images you can see all the different widget areas are available here once you install this theme so it's highly flexible now just say we wanted to um, look, let's look at the home bottom just say we wanted to uh, display some featured posts in here or in the footer and we dragged a Genesis featured post widget in here you'll find that if you want to display a featured image there's a lot of different sizes to choose from see uh, one two three four there's actually four or five by default I've actually added more in here and I'll show you how, how I did that so this is very important when you when you when you have your images you want to crop them or re resize them to a, a size which still looks really good and then use them in your theme and uh, you want to make sure you you add the, the the size to your theme so it doesn't uh, it doesn't resize it or crop it to a different size and that way it won't look too good so I'll show you how to do that and basically all you have to do is uh, go to appearance go to editor and go to your functions file and this is your child themes functions file and uh, and if you scroll down here you'll already find there's some default image sizes that are already included in your theme and you can see what they are here and you can actually add more to these so let's just save that this is a very simple function it's a WordPress function add image size and uh, let's just have a look at uh, a brief look at the tutorial that I've written which is which is very very simple it does require a little bit of coding but it supplies the code and it's only a tiny little bit of coding you can look at the uh, the function here and this is a WordPress function add image size name width height and crop and it gives you an explanation of each one here and uh, and this is what I'll put in the name of my image size that I wanted to add is for, for the home page slider so I named it slider it's 600 wide by 300 high and do I want it cropped yes so I put true if I didn't want it cropped I'd put false so that's all you need to put into your child themes function file and uh, you, you want to make sure that your uh, theme already includes support for post thumbnails and you can see this in the Genesis uh, core files in the init.php file it's already included if your parent theme doesn't include this you want to make sure you add this to your parent themes uh, functions file 
so uh, and then you can add these different image sizes and as you can see um, here I've added quite a few so uh, so it's a very very simple to add custom sizes now we'll just go back into the um, back into the widgets area and we'll just see how many are there so I've got home botted this is a widget area I want to display featured posts and you can look at the sizes I've got one two three four five six seven let's just refresh that to make sure that's correct Yep, so I've got all those different sizes and I can actually add more, So, uh, which I've done. So I've just gone to the editor, I've gone to the theme functions and just below the existing sizes that are already included in the child theme, I've just added some more, some custom sizes and these ones will match the, uh, the images that I want to add to this specific theme and make sure that they retain the, the correct aspect ratio and look really sharp so it's very very easy and I've just named them, you can name them whatever you like, it just doesn't matter so, uh, so all you do is add that and, uh, and then they'll be available for those widget areas but what the, where they won't be available is in your media settings so if you go down to the settings media you'll find you've still got the default uh, the default sizes here so WordPress has, uh, has has only let you adjust these ones here for the default um, the other sizes that you've added that we've just added to the child things functions file aren't added here uh, and you'll notice if you want to add uh, an image to a post or a page and we'll do that now as a demonstration so I'll just grab one from the media library I think I've got some in there here we go we'll use this one here you'll notice that there's these uh, these default sizes which which WordPress automatically create they haven't added the additional sizes which I've added to the uh, the child themes functions file so if you want to add them here as well um, you can do that as well but you'll have to install the plugin so um, so let's just have a look at that so we'll go to appearance sorry we'll go to plugins add new and we'll have to find the, the right plugin now there's several different plugins which you can use to do this custom image sizes, additional image sizes, simple image sizes okay this is the best one this is the one I, I've, I've tested I've also written another article on it which you'll find the link here and this plugin also regenerates image sizes which you can do as well and you might find that very handy if you're changing themes okay so simple image sizes will install that plugin first we'll find this in the WordPress plugin directory here it is here simple image sizes let's uh, let's just have a look at the details of this and uh, you want to make sure you check the plugins which you install make sure they've got a good rating make sure they're popular um, and make sure they've been downloaded and this has been downloaded the most out of all these plugins for this particular function so let's just install the plugin and uh, and then we'll, we'll just go to the settings and I'll show you what it does so it's a, it's, it's a great little plugin it does uh, does different things and this will add uh, the custom image sizes to your your insert uh, upload screen on your post edit post screen and edit page screen so uh, let's just go down the plugin settings uh, simple image size click on the settings and uh, and you can see all these additional uh, image sizes which we added in the child themes function file have been added here so these should be added on the edit post screen as well um, let's just uh, let's just see what happens if we save these changes let's see what happens when we go back to the edit post screen so let's just remove that we'll go into the visual editor now we'll see what happens now we'll go to the media library we'll grab that image that we we're going to put in before uh, it's added a couple 
to this uh, to this insert image uh, pop up here. Uh, but I could add all of them if I wanted to. So these are the defaults: a thumbnail, medium, large, uh, and full size. Uh, but here are the two of the custom ones I've added uh, yesterday. So you can see what it does. I could add more to that uh, to that screen there um, simply by going to the plugin settings and just adding them here. So uh, show in post insertion. So we'll just in the post insertion screen. Different people call it different things. It's really the edit post or the edit page screen. But uh, they call it the showing post uh, insertion. So you can add all of these custom image sizes which we added to the child themes uh, functions file. You can add them to the post insertion screen. So you know you just basically click them and, and that'll add all of them. So uh, so that's the plugin to use. It's really easy to do this. Um, it, it's really not difficult at all. So uh, so that's a great way to add your own custom. Uh, image sizes uh, to WordPress. Okay, just before we go, we'll just wrap this up. Now, just be aware that once you add all these custom image sizes, that when WordPress uploads your original image, they will create another image for these image sizes which you've added. So if you've added a lot like I have here in the demo, then WordPress is going to create about 10 different uh, image sizes each time you upload the original. So uh, by default it creates three on top of the original, so the total is generally four by default. But now that I've added all these custom ones, I'm pretty sure WordPress will add all, create all these as soon as I upload an original image. I'd have to go into the server and, and check it out, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. So uh, just make sure you only add as many as you really need. Uh, you'll find more information on my recent post, how to add custom image sizes in WordPress. Thanks for watching, folks, and see you next time. Cheers.